Okay, guys, so um, I was looking at my sketch. I'm looking at my sketch versus the, um, at the form that I created versus the form on my sketch. My daruma is much wider on the sides, so I've decided to make it wider. And this is an example of when you don't necessarily have to score and slip, but when in doubt, just score and slip. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. So I am adding on to the sides to make the form a little bit wider. This is called additive um, sculpting. And I'm just using my finger to blend. Ba basically, I had like a pretty, I took a piece, I pinched it out um, pretty thin. And now I am just blending it on to my Daruma to make those sides a little bit, a little bit wider. And it helps, my clay is not super duper plastic. I mean, it's pretty plastic, but it's not like really wet which um, helps me out um, because if it's super soft, it's a lot, it can be a lot harder to, uh, you might push in, push it in too much. And that's, and that can be a little bit, so you wanna be gentle as you're doing this. Think about your amounts, the amounts of pressure you're putting onto your sculpture. Um, and that can go for, you know, paddling too, palm paddling. It's not a technical term, but, um, but now it's a little bit wider. I'm trying to compare this side to this side. And I really like this side, I'm trying to get this side over there to do the same thing. Paddle, 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 trying to. And I think I might need to put a little more clay like right here. I even have like a little bit left over. And if it's super dry, you can give it, again, just a fingerprint's worth of water. And smooth it out. Gently. And if I, well, I'm gonna really wring out your sponge. You really don't need, it really shouldn't be a whole lot of water. You're gonna, if it's a lot of water, you're gonna give yourself a wet mess that's like too hard to work with. And you're gonna have to leave it alone for a while so it can set back up and have a little bit more strength. I think I'm a little bit happier with this form. But anyway, that, my friends, is additive sculpting. When you add clay. Oof. I'm trying to get him even. It's a challenge. Getting things even is a challenge. So another way to work is subtractively. So reason we made these loop tools so you can work subtractively. And uh, carving is a great way to do that, but you can also, let's say you, you just need, your, you want your form to look a little bit different. You can shave off subtractively take away bits to get your form more in the shape that you want it. You'll end up with all these little curlies. So 
So I went ahead and I drew in where, when it's soft leather hard, I will carve away. Um, and I'm going to even go ahead and kind of smooth out some of those little But I have a drawing in there, and I can change it. I can look at it and stare at it for a while and see if I need to change it. Like, I think I came in a little deep here. That'll look better. Just so it's, I mean, I'm going to aim for symmetry, you know. And I want you guys to, that's important to you. I would like you to aim for it as well. But now I have that drawn in there, so when it's leather hard, soft leather hard, I can come in and fix it up. I might even add a little bit more forehead to my Daruma. A little additive, additive sculpture right there. So it's not perfectly soft leather hard, but it's getting there. It's a lot stronger than um, if I were to work with pure plastic clay. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna clean off, got my clay water. Um, I'm gonna use a cleaner part of my sponge. I'm gonna make sure that my loop tool is clean. This end I haven't used yet, so it's, it's totally good. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to start carving away. And the more, um, leather hard it is, the, I feel like the less you're going to get the little guys, but you still have to clean out. You got to be willing to clean out your loop tool. You might need your needle tool to help you clean out your loop tool. I'm going with the smaller one first. And it's give, if it's giving you a lot of trouble, just leave it alone for a while. Go do something else, leave it out so it can start setting up a little. I might personally do that in just a second. I'm just being patient. And then from there, you can use your larger loop tool to go ahead and scrape away. Just so you can see a little bit better. Let's try this. So I'm just scraping away, pulling away the clay. You can grab those scraps in a minute. Spray them down, put them back in your bag. They'll be good later. That was maybe a little much. I might have to come back. But you get the idea. I'm going to let it set up. I think it'll be easier. But in the meantime, I'll show you what you can do with these little scraps. So, got our scraps. Get them all together. Right now, they're like pretty dry. This would not be fun clay to work with. So, I'm just going to get my spray bottle. Remember, it's just water. Spray it. If you want to, you can kind of wedge it in there a little bit. But right now it's pretty, it's too wet to really do much of anything with, so we're gonna just put it in the bag. Close your bag up. And then you'll be ready to go. 
for that next piece. So I'm going to let this set up before I mess with it any anymore. <laughs> 